Hackers, welcome to Commit, episode 37. I'm Richard. And I'm Neil. So this week we've got staff picks, we're talking culture fit, but first we're going fishing. We are going fishing. This weekend is the third annual Fish Hackathon, which is a really great event. Um, it's actually happening uh, all over the world. There's 40 cities, 27 countries, and there's a virtual wow. hackathon component. And the goal of this is to develop usable solutions to combat overfishing all over the world. So some really cool stuff. It's just this weekend, coincides with Earth Day, so definitely check it out. That's awesome. Let's talk about culture fit. Hey hackers, I'm here with Rich Shea from Meetup. Thanks for coming on. Sure, thanks Richard for inviting me. So we're gonna talk about culture fit, right? And culture fit in my mind is one of the least understood things in this whole tech recruiting world. So I, I wanted to just show you this. So I ran a poll on my Facebook the other day and I said like, what does culture fit mean to you? And like, let me read you some examples here. Like, so there's some positive things. Can I see myself being friends with these people? If I was working until 2 a.m. with someone, would that be awesome? And then other things were like a little bit negative just hiring people like myself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound very cool to me. So like, what is culture fit in your mind? So one of those questions actually resonates with me. I've been at Meetup for almost nine years. Wow. And so I started when the company was relatively small. And when you have a smaller company, you can definitely see yourself wanting to hang out with these people a lot. We definitely got the entire company together to go out to outings all the time. Mm -hmm. But as we grew, we realized that this wasn't really sustainable. Now as a company of 150 or so employees, you start to have people of different backgrounds and diversity. And so you can't really say, oh, I wanna see myself hanging out with this person until 2 a.m. or I wanna be grabbing drinks with this person, that kind of thing. So what we actually focus on a little bit more of is really how does this person really fit into the, the community that we built at Meetup? Do they actually have similar values? Can they actually provide some value to the company or how we interact with each other. So can you give me an idea then of a kind of value you're looking for and how do you try and find that in a candidate when you're evaluating them? Sure, so we actually just came up with our company values pretty recently, which is kind of funny since the company has been around since 2002. Uh, one of the values actually is debate and decide. So debate okay. and decide, what that means is that if there is some question you have or if there's something that you feel strongly about, then you should definitely bring it up as a debate. But you can't just bring it up to debate it. You need to really decide what the actual outcome of that debate is going to be. They're not looking for people that are going to get kind of bogged down in like a quagmire exactly. of like continually rethinking things. Right. So we want people who, if they are going to question how we do things, for example, we recently really started to do testing as one of our main focuses and that was really brought from the outside. This person really challenged what our code base was, what our status quo was, and they really pushed us to test more things and they really pushed us to uh, really rethink like how do we spend our time as developers. Right. Well, what is it that you really look for in someone when you're evaluating culture fit? So it's a little, it's a little difficult from having only looking at their resume and then also only sitting down with that person for like one hour at right. most before you decide to actually hire that person. So a couple of things I really look for is does this person really think about the things that they do? So for example, if you're gonna be working at Meetup, you're gonna really have to care about community. And so one of the things I look for is is this person someone who, if I talk to them about community, are they going to care about community? Do they actually want to build community? That kind of thing. So let's imagine that we're interviewing someone. So what are the things that a candidate can do to like sell themselves in terms of culture fit? Uh, I mean, obviously we want people to be authentic and be themselves, but I, how can they telegraph that best to you? Sure. So if it shows that on their resume that they don't have experience at a company kind of like Meetup, what we want to see is that they actually understand at their previous jobs what did they like and what didn't they like. So at Meetup, obviously, we offer different things from a corporation and we offer different things from a finance company. Someone who's worked at those two different places is actually quite valuable for a Meetup because they have those different experiences. Right, because they bring some different things to the company. Exactly. But I want to hear from that person about what didn't they like about that culture at those companies and what did they like. So then we can have a conversation about how can Meetup really 
make that make the culture fit happen. Thinking about it from the candidate side, so most of the commit viewers are developers and obviously trying to have these really great careers. What should developers look for when they're trying to find culture fit? And how do developers like test companies for this? Have you been asked any great questions about culture fit by candidates? Yeah, so one of the questions I love people ask me all the time is, you know, what are things that you have seen in the last nine years that you've actually really liked as cultural change, changes have happened at Meetup? And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a difficult question because when you've been at a company for so long, like, you've seen people come and go. You realize yeah. why people leave. You realize, you know, a lot of people who were your really good friends at work are leaving to do other things. Mm -hmm. But you realize, you know, they're furthering their professional goals and that, their career goals. And so I really like that question because, you know, it really makes me think, why did I decide to stay at Meetup? Right. And the reason tends to be I stay at Meetup because you know, people I work with are really great and they are really great to have conversations about community and really like making Meetup a better place. Because the really end goal cool. really is you're building Meetup. Whatever right. technical goal you have, whatever technical tools you use or frameworks you use, the end goal should be building Meetup. So if someone's interested in Meetup, what's a way they can find out more? They can check out the Meetup site, they can go to check out our apps, download our apps, or they can check out the Dev Post Teams page, Meetup, and uh, check us out there. We talk about our process, and we also show what jobs we have available, and also has our diversity stats and everything. That's great, awesome. Thanks a lot, Rich. All right, so my staff pick is called Auto Colorization. And what it does is it actually lets you take a black and white movie and then use deep learning, like machine learning, to, to recolor it. And so you can go from like, black and white in Paris to, you know, full color spring in Paris. You can be your own Ted Turner. You can be your own Ted Turner for anyone who's old enough to get that joke. That's real cool. So my project is perfect because now it's springtime New York. We're all going to need sunglasses soon. So look at Snap Glasses. And Snap Glasses allows you to design and 3D print your own frames for sunglasses and other glasses. Really cool. It's from the Microsoft Build Hackathon. Check it out. I think as well, Neil, they're also considering introducing edible chocolate frames. That sounds pretty delicious. It's awesome. That's all we got time for on this episode of The Commit. Next week, we're going to be talking about how to crush career fears. Till then, happy hacking. Happy hacking.